We went to the world's creepiest Google Earth location in real life. However, things did not go as planned. Come here, because no one ever comes back here. Well. It's like he saw us come back here. Because he said I saw fish checks, so. That's what he said? Yeah. Oh, well, I know he's the one who killed Gallardo. I think he's waiting for us. Stuck in a pretty bad spot. We can't go forward. Can't go back. Because he's back there, so. What is up, people crew? What we are about to show you right now is one of the strangest things we've ever found on Google Earth. What you are looking at is the vehicle literally photographed in the location of a missing person who went missing in 2015. So in 2015, just a day after he came from Barstow to Reno to live with his cousin and to go to work at a landscaping business, he vanished without a trace. He's never been seen again, you guys, but his vehicle was found a year after he went missing in this very location and we are just about two miles away we're gonna go there guys we're gonna go there and we're gonna see if we can find any clues of what happened to Daniel Gallardo who's still missing today we have a metal detector we're gonna look for some clues so he was going to go meet his cousin Marcos Espinoza make sure you watch this video all the way to the freaking end hit the subscribe button hit the like okay guys we might be getting the plague so be sure to smash the subscribe button because we might be dying today all right guys we are in the middle of freaking nowhere we are driving to that a little spot right there as you can see there's not even any roads like right here we're gonna follow this road down here they said that Danny Gallardo loved his car so much and they said that he would never have driven it down this road but when you say this is pretty tame this is our second attempt to get here there was actually a pile of snow over this entire road right here and like a freaking moron I straight up tried to run it over real slowly and we got stuck right here Trying to get us out of the way so we can roll forward nice and easy. Well, like push more. <laughs> Shut up. Push more, Lily. This tire's about to go over. Because you're so powerful. But the other side, Emma's not very good at pushing. <laughs> By the time we got out, guys, it was too late. We had to turn around. So this is our second attempt to get there. Are you guys ready to go? Let's go. We are in bear territory. We have bears, mountain lions, coyotes, and rattlesnakes. The one I hate the most, guys, that you might even think is not even bad, are the ticks. Because they're freaking sneaky, and they can give you Lyme disease, and you wouldn't even know it. And the rabies chipmunks. And I forgot about the rabies yeah. chips. All right, guys, we are about two miles away right here. And look at how the road is definitely deteriorating to a point where his car was so low. I bet you it even just gets crazier as we get down further. Let's so, go see. For a little tiny car like his, he would have been hitting everything out here. All these rocks. You would have been hitting everything. All right, guys, so we have our new car, and I know a lot of people like to get it scratched up, but I'm not yet ready to get it scratched up, so we're going to actually clear this road out a little bit, which will actually clean up the, the trail. I'm just going to clear this out so we don't have to scratch up the new Explore EWU vehicle. Dude. I think he just likes to do this. What do you think? It's really good. What do you think? Really good. No, we're not too far. It doesn't look. It's weird though that his car was out here for an entire freaking year, and it looks to be like like people come out here. Like there's definitely someone's been up this road. It looks like. Yeah, I wonder who comes out here. Maybe the people who did it. Oh yeah. And what the heck? How do you have gotten this car out here? Really bright mushrooms, like red ones. See them? Ooh, oh, they're God. weird. We have to get around this this tree. Then we have another one to get over. Oh my God. Easy as heck. Okay, let's get in. Let's get you can't in. Can't do that in Ford Raptor. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Evan, we're gonna get eaten by the bears. We've been left here. Oh my god, guys. Emma, will you be our mom? Uh, well, guys, it looks like we have our work cut out for us. Get it? <laughs> we have to cut this down. Now there's a gigantic tad, there's a huge ant. It's a Bigfoot ant. We really do gotta watch out for Bigfoot out here, though. I mean, we are in Bigfoot territory. No, oh, what happened? Oh no. Dude, what happened? <laughs> Bigfoot's gonna come after you. Here's that. Oh, there's a weird. There's a big fly on you. On me? Yeah, hang on. He's going around you. Oh, he wants to fight? I think he wants to fight you. Oh my god, where'd he go? Watch out, you're putting a fly on my foot. Well, with my shovel. Smack him with it? Yep. He's, he's back, Dad. He's back. He really does want to fight you, Dad. Is he a horse fly? I think he's a horse fly. That's fine. 
We are gonna drive over the dead tree we beat the life out of. All right, guys, so we would walk it. We're about a mile down the road here. Um, we would walk it, but you know, there's a lot of like gang activity out here and a lot of like drug operations and- Might be a little dangerous. Yeah, we don't wanna be caught on foot. So we're gonna continue to try to, I mean, look at what we have to deal with now. We gotta find our way around this. So I'm telling you, I think it's Bigfoot does this. One thing I noticed is the ground is really soft. Okay, I feel like- You guys did good by staying over there because if he doesn't know how many there is or who we are. Whisper, whisper. He's trying to back out there. I don't know why. Maybe he's the one who killed Gallardo. I mean, why would you be back there in you know, freaking nowhere? I mean, honestly, you gotta be super careful because that like reminds me of that dude that killed those girls when he said, just get down in the ravine. Remember that one? Kind of looked like that dude. Yeah, I hear him over there. Okay, turn around. I'll back it up. I think we should just continue to try to get forward. That's weird, dude. No one ever comes back here. No. It's like he saw us come back here. Yeah, I wonder if it's his private little land. He's going to have a hard time getting out. Is he going to pretend like he's trapped here with us? I hope not. I'm just going to. Cause he said I saw fresh tracks, so. That's what he said? Yeah. Dad, what? he said he saw fresh tracks. Yeah. Don't you think that's kind of like a weird thing to say? Yeah. Some white dude. Was he old? He looked like that dude, that freaking. remember like in North Carolina, those two girls went missing and they found him later dead and they still don't know who killed him. That's what he looked like. Hmm, that's creepy. I don't know. All I know is I won't get forward now. Just keep your eyes open for anyone creeping in the woods, guys. That's about all we can do at this point. I'm gonna try to keep going forward. Doesn't it seem like he's like been here before, though? This makes it even creepier, don't you think? Yeah. There's nobody out here. Why is he out here? I mean, kind of stuck in a pretty bad spot. We can't go forward. We can't go back because he's back there, so. I think he's waiting for us. You know what was weird is we didn't even hear him coming up the road until he was right there. Like creeping style. It's a little weird. What do you think? I'm gonna step on this again so I can I'll step it. on it. That just was weird. As she's eating, we're getting stalked and they wanna you kill want us. One? No. Damn. That's like is That's bear prints for sure. Yeah, look, look at get them close. That's freaking those massive. are pretty fresh, guys, so we want to be careful. Could be anywhere to run or freaking be gigantic. They're be coming out of uh, hibernation, so you might want to get in the car. Alright guys, so I don't know where that guy went. I'm freaking really tired from all that bushwhacking. He was saying something like, Are you guys bushwhacking or something? I didn't really understand what he was saying, but it just seemed odd. I don't know where he went or if he's I mean, he may think we're creepers too. I don't know. For me that just seemed really weird and I don't know where he's at. So Shots. I know. Isn't that weird? Yeah, let's see if we hear him again. Yeah, did you hear it? It sounded like he got closer, dude. Is he? I think that was that guy. As you can hear, there's gunshots over all around us. Maybe people are hunting or practicing, I'm not really sure. But yeah, that's why we don't really want to walk around out here too much. But mainly because, like I said, it's a pretty large drug area out here. And if the people that dumped his body, if he was murdered, they knew this area. But that's why we can't like leave our car that far. So let's keep going. We're almost there, but I don't know how he got his car over this. Look at the road. Look at over there. It's crazy. I don't know how they got his car out here. Let's keep going. I'm waiting to see a hunter or something back here with all the gunshots I'm hearing. I mean, is this the spot? Oh, it's really close. Like, dang, they really, really brought it back as far as it. I mean, where the, the heck did this road even go? So he can literally be anywhere. We are now within 2.2 miles. We just went through this mud. I actually have no idea how they got his car out here. This is what I love about coming out here and seeing these places because there's so many questions in your head before you come out here. And you're like, you know, maybe he drove himself out here. But after coming out here and seeing the road, I'd have to say there's no freaking way he drove himself out here. No, especially, you hear that again? More gunshots? Yeah. Getting closer. I hate even being so far from a car though, honestly. It's not a good It's kind of silly that we're like risking our lives so we don't get little scrapes on the car. That's kind of dumb. <laughs> Am I making it? Yeah. 
straight ahead. Am I making it? Keep going there. Am I making it now? There's nothing on the branch that your butt is on. There's nothing on it. Just go straight. Okay, am I making it now? Am I making it? Yeah, yeah. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Kraft? It's right where the vehicle was. This is the exact spot this vehicle. I mean, it couldn't make it any further. So, what I noticed about this spot? Very soft ground. Yeah, like two by four pieces of flat wood. Well, let's keep our eyes open on the whole walk around here. Like, look, there's some burnt stuff right here, too. Some burnt stuff too? Yeah, look at that. It looks like it's burnt. There's some tin foil right here. See that? Yeah, it's tin foil. Beer can right there, guys. Is yours something? Yeah, we definitely heard something. It was what? Bigfoot walking. No, seriously, you found it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Something stomping. Yeah, not even kidding, dude. It sounded like something stomping. I don't want to get attacked by a bear. All right, we are in the exact location where Gallardo's car was found. Look at, there's a weird indentation right there in the ground. We're going to metal detect. We're going to look for any clues. We just got through grabbing some food and hiking all the way up from our car down there. Here's where we're at. Some reason this car was like right here. I don't understand why or where, if it got stuck. There's not enough information, but uh, here's where we are, guys. We've been hearing lots of noise from animals like thumping through the bushes. Bears are gonna be out and they're gonna be hungry right now. So we wanna be super duper careful. And that's weird that there's a piece of wood right there. That's what I was thinking. Like a bullet or something. It's this right here. It's like a nail. Yep, there's something here for sure. It's too small for this or something. What's that? What is it? It's like a rock meteor. What the heck is it? No, it literally looks like a meteor. Let's keep it. Yeah, for okay. real. Let's put that in your put that in there. Okay, guys, we have a meteor. Uh -huh. There's an animal. There's a what? You do? You hear that? That's the sound we heard earlier. Weird. Can we go metal detect by that big rock? Dude, that looks suspicious. Let's go. That be some metal right there. Yeah. Just like the other one. Why do you guys think there's so much of that metal thingy? Post it in the comments below. Yeah. More? Yep. Right there. This thing, I never find it. Man. My thing is a stupid sniffer. Yeah, more metal. Ooh. It's just metal wire. Make sure there's no tip on me. Something hurt right there, Dad. Isn't it so weird how it's all centered yeah. around his like exact car location? Right around his car location, very suspicious. Look how soft that is, though. Yeah. Hmm. Wouldn't take much to bury a body in this. No! Oh! Oh! Okay, back up off of him. He's gross. Oh, Get... hey, his body's in there. Watch out. Oh yeah. Oh, what the flip? That's nasty. Right there. Sorry, Larva. You're gonna die. Put the stupid larva in the dirt. He's gross. Buy a stinky larva. Oh, oh my see. legs! Oh god. I have to dig up the larva. Is it gone? Yeah. What's this stuff all smashed up? Look at it. What is it? Is it bones? I don't know what these are. No, it's like plastic. Is that a piece of metal yeah. again? Yeah. Why is there only scraps of metal around wire, here? Wire. Like wire. Let's go put it over there again. That is that a wire? Mm -hmm. Why is it leading in this direction? Yeah, that's kind of weird. The wire is leading us in this direction, which is be a little strange, because why would there be wire? There's these, there's, what the? There's this mound that looks like the size of a... Right here that we're standing yeah. on? Yeah. What if you threw somebody over on the side right here and just buried them? Ew! If the thing's dead, it'd just be hibernating. It's, oh, it's bloody. Another freaking piece. What the heck? Of wire. There's just thin wire all over this place. There's mosquitoes getting me all over. Uh -oh. Alright guys, basically what we found is a bunch of wire and some plastic. Only in the area where his vehicle was. We're running out of time, so we're gonna head out of here. We got a long ride back. We're in the middle of nowhere. So we're heading out, you guys. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and let us know what you guys think happened to Daniel Gallardo. Yeah. Where do you think he went? Because I don't see him driving out here. It's crazy. Peace!